Hello and welcome back to Goldner Woodland Farm. I'm Keith, uh, finally getting around to giving you an update on the heating system. Uh, it is uh, January 15th. Uh, I mentioned in December I was going to do this and I didn't get to it. Uh, so I'll give you an update on kind of how this all works uh, now. So primary source of heat. Uh, so the building is fully heated. Um, the you know, it's well insulated. So four inches of spray foam in the walls, uh, R60 blown in insulation in the ceiling, and uh, it's radiant heat through the floor. So we in-floor heat, um, so we need a boiler. And what I've done is I've gone with uh, this Froling S3 Turbo 50. Uh, it's an indoor wood-fired boiler, and uh, it's a wood gasification, so uh, firewood, not wood pellets. And I've got, you know, 82 acres of woods here, lots and lots of trees, and it's, you know, essentially all hardwood, um, and trees down all over the place. Uh, probably never have to cut a tree down uh, for firewood, just between the trees getting blown down. And, uh, uh, you know, we cleared some when we, uh, when we took some trees down when we cleared for the sand mound and the house site but uh, you know for example last July a uh, pretty good storm came through blew down probably 25 to 30 trees that we found uh, just over Christmas uh, when it was super cold lots of wind and, and a number of trees went down uh, at that time as well um, so a wood fire boiler uh, the idea here is you run this kind of as hot as possible and that heat uh, is being captured inside uh, these two, these are storage tanks. So the 400 gallons of water inside each of these tanks. So we run that boiler full blast, it heats up the water in the tanks, and then, and then the water from the tanks is what's uh, running through the floor. I realized I left an important part out uh, when I was filming this. Uh, so when we run that boiler kind of a, as hot as we can, as fast as we can, uh, we get a much more complete uh, burn of the wood. Uh, again, because of the wood gasification, um, the boiler also kind of reburns the smoke. Uh, so there's very little smoke, very little ash that uh, as a result of burning this wood. And, um, and then we're capturing all that heat. Uh, a more typical boiler uh, in order to control the heat, you have to damp it down and you have a fire that just smolders, makes a lot of smoke, uh, a lot of ash, and it's not a very efficient burn. Uh, this boiler is about 80% efficient. And, and again, like I said, from a, from a, there's very little smoke, uh, very little ash. Uh, so it's uh, you know, not a lot of particulates coming out of it, uh, like a, a more typical uh, wood boiler. Uh, so that was a you know important reason for uh, for going with this uh, proling system is because of of the efficiency, the lack of smoke, um, lack of ash, and uh, you know and then being able to uh, to store that heat uh, so we don't have to just keep that boiler going all the time. Uh, you know I can you know I can burn it you know once a day or once every few days, uh, and then run off the heat in those tanks. Um, you know, so once we get these tanks heated up, uh, right now I'm heating it up. You know, it was in the 20s overnight and uh, came here this morning, it was 70 degrees inside. Um, you know, we lit it last yesterday. Uh, probably uh, we'll, we're burning it today, but I may not have to run it again uh, most of the week uh, because it'll, there'll be enough heat stored between heat in the floor and the heat in these tanks will be enough to keep the building warm, um, you know, comfortably above, you know, in a, in a comfortable heat range, probably the rest of the week. Um, so what I have is I've got my firewood, you know, that I stack in these IBC totes, and then, you know, I can bring them in with my Kubota and set them here and then feed, you know, feed right out of here into the boiler um, and then, you know, once that's done, once that's empty, I can take it out, you know, move, move that one over, bring another one in. Uh, I've had um, 11 of these, 12 of these uh, full at the beginning of the winter. Um, so it's first winter, not sure if that's going to be enough yet, but so far uh, it looks like it. 
you know, it looks like it is going to be enough. Uh, we didn't, uh, they didn't have this all set up properly until a couple weeks ago. So we ran it a bit in November and we really didn't run it that much in December while they were trying to sort through a bunch of the uh, uh, plumbing for the heat, that, the, you know, the storage tank primarily. Um, but if you, if you look up here, I don't know if you can see, uh, this tells us uh, that the temperature in the tanks, it's 153 degrees at the top, 108 degrees at the bottom. Uh, the boiler's at 146 degrees. Um, you know, that's hotter. We don't want to be running 140 or 150 degree water through the floor. I think it's about 120 degree water. Uh, so there's some, uh, you know, a bunch of different valves that control how that hot water gets out of the tanks uh, to run through the floor. And uh, similar to the similar to the uh, solar system, this has an automatic backup. Uh, so this uh, this boiler uh, has a lot of sensors throughout the boiler and also throughout the storage tanks. Uh, but if the uh, the heat in this system, you know, let's say for example, I, I decide to go away for a week or two, and I'm not here to uh, to, to load the boiler, if the heat in this uh, drops off and it's, uh, you know, and the system says we need to turn on, uh, you know, the boiler, then there's a, there's an automatic backup that will then kick in. So this is a tankless natural gas boiler. Um, <clears throat> again, I have a, uh, um, I have a gas well on the property, so I ac uh, have access to free natural gas. Uh, so if the wood boiler is not running and the building starts to cool down, then this will say, hey, we need to kick on the natural gas boiler, which is what this is. And then that comes on automatically and uh, beats the bill. So far, that's been working great. Uh, like I mentioned, in, um, we, we started running this uh, in November and we didn't, they didn't have all these, uh, all these valves set up uh, the right way, and so uh, really was running off of the the, uh, the natural gas boiler in December, uh, but um, you know so that worked out as it was supposed to. As you know, when this wasn't working, that came on automatically, and now that it is working, uh, it's set to come on, but it's it doesn't need to because the uh, the wood boiler's doing what it needs to do to keep the place warm. Um, yeah, so, so there you go, if you have any questions. Oh, and this, uh, this boiler is, is sized, and the tanks are sized to heat this building and the house. Uh, we haven't started the house yet, uh, but they will, as soon as the weather, uh, as soon as the weather breaks, then they're gonna be starting on the house. And um, so these lines here, it's already plumbed to, uh, to run, uh, you know the hot water over to the house so there's a uh, insulated pex thermo it's called thermopex it's already buried uh you know because all the goes all the way across the building under you know under the floor and then out through the wall over to where the house is uh, so so this is already you know was sized uh, to be big enough to heat both this whole building and the house uh comfortably uh from this one boiler if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you enjoy these videos, please hit the like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.